Hi guys, this is uh, Pete from Mixcat uh, Reboot IT. I have a uh, laptop here. It's an HP uh, laptop that has inverter problems. I'm going to show you how to detect that and how to fix it. Uh, it's pretty common. When you have a screen that will come on for a couple seconds and turn back off. Here, let me go ahead and hit the power button. You'll see it will blink here for a second. There you go. And boom, it goes off. And if I hit that little button in the side, it'll tap on for a second. There you go. See, I tap that little button that comes up for a second. That's an inverter issue. Uh, inverters are pretty cheap to fix, and we do that here at Reboot IT. Um, but that's how to detect it. I'm going to go ahead and take apart the screen and show you where the inverter is and how easy it is to pull it out. Hi guys, uh, Pete from Mixcat, Reboot IT again. Got the front bezel off, and at the bottom here that I'm zooming in on, that green little wafer board that's called the inverter. That actually takes the uh, voltage of the, the battery or the charger and brings it up to a high voltage, kind of like a ballast in a uh, fluorescent light. Uh, so it kicks it up to a, a point where it can energize a fluorescent bulb, which you actually have in an LCD. I just pulled out that inverter, and that's a better shot of it comes out real easy. There's a little connector on the, the left and that goes to the uh, video connector and the one that's on the right is the voltage to that fluorescent light. You'd never want to work on that when it's actually on because the, the end of that will actually burn your finger. It's high voltage, very low amperage. It won't kill you or, or anything but it will burn you. I can tell you firsthand it definitely will burn you. But again, very easy. You see the left uh, connector and the one on the right snaps out. You're talking probably about eight screws in total on this HP laptop. And this is a pavilion. Um, pretty easy. Those are the pads that go up on the front too, the little buttons that are on the touch pad. We're going to go ahead and order that inverter. We found one uh, brand new for $25. So it's a pretty easy fix, pretty cheap to do. Uh, we would charge a half hour labor to go with that. So again, we're very reasonable here at Reboot. Um, there we go, that's it. That's the HP laptop inverter fix.